Hi everyone, Tim the Plain Man here out at the field with something very special. This is the Smart Fleet Canada Niska 1. It's a beautiful 2.4 meter fixed wing plane. It's a VTOL running Artie Pilot and it's ready to fly with the C Uni RC7 flight control system and everything else is ready to go out of the box. What we're going to do now is we're going to take it out of the box. I'll show you the bits. I'll plug everything together and we're going to fly it. So let's have a look inside the box. The wings come like this. They click together and there's screw connectors that screw the booms in from the VTOL like that. Very secure, very solid feel. You can, it just feels secure when I uh, screw this together. And of course, red and white for Canada. So that's the first wing. Not only red and white, but a Canadian flag. And here comes the second wing. The booms just fold out. That screws together. And here we have the fuselage. Look at that, just beautiful, right? And uh, of course, in here we've got the Cube Orange Plus, Cube Pilot flight controller, and the here for GPS. Propeller on the back, and a beautiful large compartment for the battery, and you'll see the battery is very, very cool. So let's just get this out of the way. The foam components are really quite useful as well because what will need to happen now is we'll have to put the landing gear on and that folds up just nicely so the landing gear will go on here. Carbon fiber landing gear. And rear landing gear is a nice handy little fold-out peg. Now, the wings, how does that work? Well, the wings just clip on. So let's put that this way around. And we'll start with the, start with this wing. Doesn't really matter which way around you do it, but the two, bars just clip slide on and then clip on with these two solid metal clips and one more thing I heard someone call this a swallow tail the other day rather than a V-tail. And actually, I think it sounds quite nice and is quite fitting for this plane. So this swallow tail just clips on. Like that. And nice and solid. And that's the plane. Pretty nice, right? That's very pretty. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna need, of course, is we're gonna need a battery. And let me just fire up the remote control here. When the plane comes up, and of course, we also need antennas for the radio control, and I have these mounted just below the wing, nice and solid. The battery I'm using is one of my favorite batteries. It's the Xing Tu solid state battery. This one's 29,000 milliamp hours or 2.9 amp hours. Uh, it needs to mount in the plane here, fairly far at the front actually. Needs a lot of weight to get the center of gravity right. And we're gonna push that all the way up to the front 
and we're also going to check the center of gravity right now just to be sure that everything's good so I'll just pop the wires in pop the canopy on and let's check the center of gravity so here it is this is the Smart Fleet Canada Niska 1 it's got fully assembled look how quick that was 29,000 milliamp hour solid state battery installed ready to go center of gravity is good and we're going to fly it
Test flight success. This beautiful Smart Fleet Canada Niska one, wow, just a, a beautiful flight. I'm really pleased. It, uh, it went up in the air, it just flew uh, auto tune, and then uh, basically circuits uh, couldn't be better. It really, really flies so nicely. So, what I'm looking forward to now is to do some testing as how long I can fly and how far I can fly because with this plane we should be able to get extended visual line of sight and beyond visual line of sight here in Canada. Tim the Plane Man, over and out.